Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the next episode of the Mugs and Mics podcast. My name is Zeke, but you already knew that. And I brought some friends with me along the way, because I can't do this alone. We got Mr. Nomad, the Canadian memester. Oh, yeah, daddy. Who is German. <laughs> we got Mr. Hack Game, the person responsible for all of our thumbnails. Hello, everybody. And I GameCube Dude, the one who has the most followers on all the social medias, and thus making him the most relevant out of all of us. Mm -hmm. Zeke, when are you getting that new microphone? Uh, soon, I promise. Okay, promise. <laughs> <laughs> promise. All right, so we got a couple of uh, weird topics that uh we have uh, today. Just some that don't can't cover the full like thirty minutes to an hour. So we're just gonna be doing a couple of those. It's gonna be a more like laid back, chill type episode. Mm hmm. Especially after that whole. Episode five. Who remembers that? Who remembers that? Ooh, yeah. <laughs> I'm scared. Fuck it went up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Nomad, I think uh, you were the one who drove the first talking point. So you go ahead and take it away. Yeah, we're talking about social medias. Our thoughts on the on the big four: Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. He Are we seems just to have problems with all of them. So uh, nah, Twitter. I don't. I don't hate Twitter. I like Twitter. Mm, I mean, we all have different opinions on Twitter. I mean, other people kept saying, oh, it's chaotic, but I'm not even sure if they really went there. I don't think Twitter's chaotic at all. Twitter's like the I easiest think, of all of them. I think Twitter, Twitter can is, actually get really chaotic at times, though. I think Twitter is actually the more hilarious um, places to get memes. I mean, people made Twitter clever tweets. Twitter is a good meme place. Exactly. Yeah, it is. Everybody I mean, who makes memes on Twitter eventually get their memes stolen by someone on Facebook or Instagram. <laughs> the, the social media I really hate though is Facebook. It's just what do you what do you hate about Instagram, by the way? Huh? I... We're about to find out. So let's let's just continue the topic about uh, fa uh Twitter since let's just go ahead and do that one. Okay. We all know like that Twitter. all uh, all all of us have a Twitter account. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so does what? the Mugs and Mikes account. Uh, go follow that, by the way. Follow mine first. <laughs> follow all of ours. How about that? Mine follow first. me. I make bad art styles. But Act, do we have to do this again? No. <laughs> Your art isn't bad, okay? The The funny thing is that um I actually started my Twitter account at my at the day of my birthday around two years ago. It's so your kind Twitter of was your birthday present to yourself. Yes. So your Twitter birthday and your actual birthday are the same. Yes. But when it's my birthday this year, it's going to be my second birthday for Twitter. I don't even remember when I opened my Twitter account. Mm. I it's think nothing. I opened mine about four years ago. I, that, oh. was when, that was when all my friends were making the switch from, fa from Facebook to Twitter. Then they went back to Twitter. No, not back to Twitter. Back to Facebook. I don't know why they <laughs> did that. So... Yeah, now Fuck I'm the Facebook. only one left on Twitter. <laughs> I honest, honestly, when it, I just use Facebook as a messenger app. I don't post shit. I don't like shit. I don't do anything with my Facebook. I don't know yeah. why anybody's using Facebook anymore because Mr. Because uh, Mr. Oh, I swear I am not robot got caught lying to the Senate. You know? with Instagram. What? Facebook owns Instagram, you know? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's a problem. I on, I kind of want to delete my Instagram, but then again, I have like 6,000 followers on there, and I hardly ever use it, so I'm like, eh, what's the worst that could possibly happen? Mm. You're, you're not missing much. Honestly, I kind of want to delete mine. The only reason I like I have a Facebook, but I've never used it. The only reason I took I made a Facebook is because I could get the domain GameCube Dude 100 on there before anybody else could steal it from me. Actually, that is the problem with uh, social media. I mean, you know, you always have to make social media everywhere just so it could be official, and it gets pretty oh, yeah, annoying. Stole, oh, yeah, stolen content. That's a big one with especially Facebook and Instagram. That's true. And they I don't mean, do anything about it. Exact, exactly. So, what's, yeah, there's this, um, there's no, it, basically, it's the opposite of YouTube. There's no appeal process for it, so, yeah, it yeah. just... If your content gets stolen, they add those black bars and the sh the emojis and the shitty phrase like, 
OMG, who did this? Lol, X D D D. It's quite sad because like content that I watch is also on Facebook. Like, people steal it and post it on there. And it gets, like, three times the amount of likes and, and like, views exactly it's the content it's the exact it's the exact opposite problem of youtube youtube's problem is is they let the people who anyway they let the content owners have too much control over it so yeah even if it's something that's completely fair use it could be taken down facebook is the complete opposite where once it's up there unless the user unless the user that posted it posted it act deletes it themselves can't do shit about it it's up there forever stealing views from you you know what could happen what? if it's really as serious as everybody says it is? We could, like, as a creator community, we could come together and create a class action lawsuit against Facebook. Oh, I'd wow. support it. I would, I mean, I they, would totally. It is blatant copyright infringement. The only thing they're adding to it is, like I said, the black bars with the emojis and the stupid little phrase. And that's not transformative at all. Exactly. Black bars? Yeah, you know, have you seen those memes hack? You know, Facebook, they'll take a video or picture, put black bars on the top and bottom, and it will have, like, crying laughing emojis and a phrase like, who did this, or... Wait a minute, I think like I exactly. recognize it. If Viacom can sue YouTube for something YouTube, well, really couldn't control, then we should sue Facebook for something that they just straight up ignore. So, hey, so do you guys remember Ray William Johnson? Yeah. What about him? So, for his series equals three, he actually got he actually got sued and he lost the lawsuit. It was because it was because of you know, remember segment equals three. He take clips, just re-upload them in its entirety. That's that's what he got sued for. Oh, it's easily so yeah. If he could get sued for that, then face we could easily sue Facebook or any of these major Facebook pages that steal these that steal this stuff. Well, there we go. Now all we need is someone, like, with a big name to, like, lead the lawsuit. If someone like uh, Keemstar, like, (laughs) like got people together and, like, started a lawsuit or maybe FaZe Banks, yeah, we could win. Because they have big names. They have a lot of influence. PewDiePie. I doubt he would do it, though. I'm pretty sure Keemstar would do it, though. Keemstar would, but PewDiePie wouldn't. He's the... Interesting. And it's the exact same problem with Instagram. You look at any Instagram meme page, it's just stolen stuff from YouTube and other places. I mean, every meme. That's one of the major reasons why I hate Instagram. I I hate Instagram, but for a totally different reason. What's that? It just it it's it just it's a breeding ground of like thirteen year old kids that just post stupid memes. And then we'll message you and comment on every single post you do saying, hey, can you please follow me? Oh, my Uh, God. The fucking normies. Yeah, that's another reason why I hate Instagram. I never respond to Instagram DMs because it's just so many dumb people out there. Also, um, there was a person. Instagram is like, uh, you know, please give me attention. (laughs) It's annoying. there was one time in Instagram where someone actually reposted my art and I had to take it down. I was about to ask Hack, since you are an artist, I was wondering how many times you've had like your stuff reposted without your permission. Um, one it's only one time for now, but I'm not sure if other people really did. The person who uh, reposted my art is actually fucking not even thirteen, not twelve, not eleven, but around nine. Uh, I'm not kidding. So he, no. he doesn't even know better. As yeah. From what I hear, thir- people under 13 are not allowed on Instagram or Facebook, so... In any social legit- media or yeah, any website. Yeah, there's legitimate grounds really. to get him up, to get him off the website. Well, to be uh, to be fair, the website itself will want him off the site because, uh, like, we all know about uh, Facebook's uh, data collecting. Yeah. That's, that's why they have that... Uh, you had to be 13 years or older because that's when you can legally be in a contract because you're considered kind of an adult at that point. Yeah, true. They I are, mean, that makes sense. Like the I government mean, frowns upon people taking information from like a nine-year-old kid. I mean, who wouldn't frown upon that? As for Snapchat, I don't really use it. I don't either. I had one at one point, touched it like three times, never did anything else with it. 
Oh wait. I never but... got a Snapchat because it was so obnoxious. Every time, like, I'm hanging out with a friend, he had to stop every, like, two minutes, you know, to take a dumb picture to send to this girl he liked. <laughs> I'm like, can you put your fucking phone away? Or maybe you can actually go and talk to her yourself? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe maybe when he's at home, he's sending nothing but dick pics. Maybe that's the fucking appeal of Snapchat. But it just, it's irritating. People always told me, get a Snapchat, get a Snapchat. I'm like, fuck Snapchat. I don't want, I don't, I'm not fucking with that stuff. Wait, guys. Do you remember when Kick was a thing? Kick? No. What? Kick is a text messaging app. That's pretty uh, much so it. So phone? <laughs> yes. Not kidding. It, it was a huge thing back then. And it was really annoying when people kept asking me, Hey, join Kick, join Kick. I'm like... Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yes. Yeah. When you, uh... Okay, first off, you need to uh, mess around with uh, chat roulette a lot more. Because everyone's asking for Kick there. Really? Uh huh. Oh my god! I Chat hate roulette is so fun. <laughs> I've been Me. in there like once or twice, and I, surprisingly, I didn't get a naked guy in chat roulette. <laughs> nice. <laughs> me and a friend, me and some friends did a sleepover where we like went on chat roulette and just messed around there for like four or five hours. It was the best time ever. That does sound like fun. Sounds <laughs> like it. A I mean... ukulele was involved. A ukulele? Yes. A ukulele. The instrument this ukulele. Beautiful. <laughs> that a is ukulele hilarious. and a fake grenade. Well, shit, a I'm f what? <laughs> <laughs> Hold like on. Said, what? We need this fun. story now. Oh, I need. I'm gonna. S hang on. Let me sign up for chat roulette. What? <laughs> well, do you have a fake grenade? We no. My um, uh, my friend did. Oh, I actually have a fake grenade. There you go. Not oh even my joking. God. I wish I had a fake grenade. Well, it's actually, no, it's not fake, it's real, it's just the bottom's been drilled out of it, so there's no oh. boomy boomy no, stuff No, I've seen one it. of those before. <laughs> oh, Zeke, okay. what the hell did you do with the grenade? <laughs> so what we did was we just had our friend sit in front of the webcam, and he just would talk to people. And then uh, all of a sudden we all just, uh, like, the other three of us were off camera. Then after, like, a set amount of time, we just uh, put our hands on his shoulder with, like, vicious weapons. Like, one person had, a, like, a little BB gun. Another person had a knife, and then I had the grenade, and I just he held it right in front of it, and his face just went from, like, smile to, like, frowning instantly. <laughs> and we got a lot of people disconnect right at that point. It was, oh. was kind of funny. <laughs> it's like, hey, kids, you want to see a dead body? <laughs> <laughs> Boom. And then with the ukulele, we, was just, uh, we had our friend who actually knew how to play it just play songs for people. And all of us Aww. would just, like, sing and dance. That would be nice. That must have been nice. It was a that lot of fun. actually sounds like fun. It is mm -hmm. a lot of fun. You should bring your friend how to you. know how to play Sandstorm. <laughs> <laughs> or how about Master of Puppets by Metallica? Oh, that would be oh, amazing. Right. Song Did I ever tell you I went to uh, to see them on, in concert, Metallica? No, you did not. I, that was an awesome show. What was your favorite song they performed live? Uh, probably one. That was an awesome, sh uh, awesome song. Let's, no. let's go on here. Who's here has ever been to a concert, and which one was your favorite? I have been to concerts been before, one. and dude, I have I have the weirdest problem with concerts. Every time I go to a concert and the loud music starts playing, everybody's you know cheering along, I start to fall asleep. Really? What? I'm. I'm not even kidding. How? It doesn't matter what concert I go to. I start getting drowsy. I start like, uh, where, where can I lay down? Uh, where can I lay down so I don't get robbed? That's me at freaking concerts. I, I've gone to like three of them before. It happens every time. I'm just like, I give up. I give up. I can't do concerts. Are you just bored of them? Or did it just happen? It just happens. Even when I like the music, I just start falling asleep. And I cannot for the life of me figure out why this is happening hmm burn out i don't know are you going to like a jigglypuff concert that's the only <laughs> thing i could think of yo i f i kind of feel like a magical jigglypuff is following me and starts singing to drown out the actual music it, it oh. lays its little curse in my ears and i f start falling asleep and then when i wake up i really ah oh, shit jigglypuff stole my wallet wait <laughs> did it would it happen or did it uh, i don't know 
So hack it, it might as well, because that's the only logical no. explanation at this point. Oh. Hack, mm. have you uh, been to a concert before? Unfortunately, no. But, what is your was, dream You need concert. to go outside more. Oh. I tr I'm trying. I, wa I walked outside. Try harder. Like, where can I go? Outside. I There's know. infinite possibilities out there. <laughs> but too many microtransactions. Yeah. <laughs> no matter. Stop been... disencouraging him. Well, no, I don't like microtransactions, okay? Yeah, I don't either, but still, you don't need microtransactions to pay for sunlight. <laughs> uh, actually, Fine. you need to uh, pay microtransactions to save yourself from t excess sunshine. Oh, for oh, fuck's uh, sake! <laughs> well, I guess I'm staying home then. There you God go. God damn it! You see what you two did? <laughs> hey, High five, who Nomad. Needs to go yeah. Oh my god. Besides, who needs to go outside when you have waifus, am I right? You go outside daily. <sighs> hack. Yes, oh, by I the do way, go hack. Outside daily. You what? didn't tell it you didn't tell us who your favorite girl was. Okay. All right, hold on. Everybody, uh, for some context to this stream, Nomad and I were on one of Hack's live streams and we got into the conversation of the game Doki Doki Literature Club. And oh. uh, we were discussing who's best waifu. Nomad likes Yuri. I am a Sairi man. Zeke, I know he's trash because he likes Natsuki. <laughs> Hack. Hack refuses to tell us which is his waifu. Hack. Come on, Hack. The game is is eight months old. I, I don't think. give a fuck how <laughs> old the game is. Tell us who the best waifu is. Tell us. Uh... Do I have to start posting pictures again? No. Oh, Wait. I'll take that as a yes. Wait, if hack, um, hack, you just, just say Monica, just say Monica. That would make things so much easier for you. But what if I choose others? Well, you then choose. Choose which which is your favorite. Um, hack, do you say yes to this? Yes. Do you see it? No, Matt. Nobody's gonna see the the picture. I know, on the but hack is but hack is going to, and that's what matters. Okay. Right? He he posted a really cute picture of Monica. I'll say yes to it. I'll uh, post that on the on the screen so people can see it. Okay. okay. But say there's an MP3 version of this podcast. What are we going to do? I mean, we can we're just fucked. save the pictures. No, I mean, no, we're, and, like, we're post fucked. editing. Oh. Yeah, oh, I, know. I, I see what you're getting at. Okay. Yeah. This, I is, mean, we... this is why you people can't keep using pictures in this podcast. <laughs> no, right. I, no, wait. No I, I, I guess I don't see what you're getting at. I mean, I have changed nicknames yeah. at one time in the podcast. It was pretty hilarious. Who yeah, cares? Will you tell us your waifu already? Just uh, tell us. I mean, oh wait, Nomad, remember when you made the meme? No. Uh, no. 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 You are not dodging this topic. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. Hack, wait. is your is your waifu the protagonist you play as? What the? No. <laughs> Don't <laughs> give him a cop out. There are four girls to choose from. Just choose one. Hold on. Nomad, remember when you made the Mugs and Mike's Doki Doki Literature Club meme? Oh yeah, that. Oh, yeah, that God. was. Remember, good. remember how you said it fits well with everyone ar else around here? Oh yeah. I think. Okay, I'm gonna end this whole thing once and for all. Ready? Yep. I personally think. The Yori is. Oh! Okay. Oh! Oh! Definitely, we got a man at class. Definitely a good choice, I'd say honestly. I mean, I say all three of them are a good choice, then Monica, not so much. Oh my god. You don't like Monica? Not the biggest fan of Monica. I think I don't she's blame nice. You. I'll look for her a second. She, she just wanted to be loved, man, you know? Exactly, you know? But in the expense of everyone else, though? But they're not real. I mean, yeah, exactly. She's like, yeah, they're not real anyway, why do I give a fuck? <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> Wait, I that, mean, that, that's, 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 that's really Monica's cool. perspective. Um, someone like made a, a a small drawing of me as as Sayori, and I find it kind of hilarious. It, when I looked at it, I think it does kind of fit well to the personality and you know. Is the fitting. that the only reason you like Sayori? I mean, she's more relative to me, and okay. you know, I I think she's really nice. No, I get that. I mean, like, well, you hear, heard it here first, people. But I mean, you, 
I mean, here's the thing. She's more shy, and she just wants to bring people in, but she ends up getting more anxiety than usual. I mean, I I got I get a lot of anxiety, so I think it really fits that. well. Yep. Well, I guess that's settled. Two votes for Sairi, one vote for Yuri, <laughs> and one vote for a trash bag. <laughs> oh my god. What can I say? I'm a trash collector. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh man, I missed this. I missed having you here in episode seven. Oh, I know. Good job on that one, by the way. Oh, thank you. Went well. I like that I, episode. Speaking could... of which, while I was while y'all were recording that episode, I was in the air flying, and I was actually watching the new the newest Star Wars again because it was in flight entertainment. And I will have to agree. I have to say that it was not as good as I remember. Mmm, I thought That's so. Dope. I mean, uh, the opening space fight, the dog fight, that fight, that was awesome still. The last fight was awesome, and then that uh, throne room scene was pretty cool. But everything yeah, else was just, eh. Yeah. I re- I actually rewatched it, too, and I'll be honest. The biggest problem I have with it, Rose, I don't find her nearly as annoying anymore. Just unnecessary, really. But I still think I can... it was. Uh, I still think it was the stupidest thing ever, her hitting... Finn out of the way. Yeah, that was stupid, but aside from that, it wasn't really annoying, just unnecessary. Vice, anyway, Vice Admiral Purple Hair, on the other hand, I despised her ten times more the second time. She's just, I don't know what what is about her. She, she's useless. They, yeah, they present her as this as this war hero that's supposed to be recognized, but every single thing she does and says is so fucking stupid. It's more of like the say, uh, they they do more say and not show with her. They just exactly. say, oh, here, here she is. This is the first time we've ever seen her. And then they kill her off just as fast. <laughs> I mean, really? at least with the light speed ramming sacrifice, why not have someone in there like Admiral Akbar or Mon Mothma, someone that... A pre-established character that's actually well liked. That would have been an, a great end to because their arc. Because we need to pander. <laughs> oh no, I don't know. I'm still, I'm still hopeful for episode nine. Oh, also, mm, I'm heading out to see. Kill your hopes. Also, I'm heading out to see Solo. Hopefully tonight. I've heard nice actually, things. Well, about I'm that. warning you now. That movie has not been well received. Oh, I'm I know, but I'm willing to. I'm willing to give it a fair chance at the very least. Very well. That's more than I can say. I just, yeah, I don't, I don't have any interest in going to see the movies, so I can't have an opinion of it. It's mm-hmm. sad because I get free movie tickets all the time, and I'm not interested in seeing that movie. Oh come yeah. on! Thanks for rubbing it in again. The only thing that interest that interests me in is that there's a pre- certain prequel character that returns in that movie. Oh, Ranked I know about briefly. that one. I heard about it. I did not. I, I don't know. Darth, Darth Maul's in it. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, that'd be cool. Doesn't he just stare at the camera, though? Just grimaces? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Uh. Uh, something interesting, though. At the world premiere, of course, he was... But also, Ewan McGregor was there. And for those that have seen that have seen the Clone Wars and Rebels, they'd know what, what's what been going on between Obi-Wan and Maul. So I think they might be setting up something. Maybe an Obi-Wan movie with Ewan McGregor. I'd definitely watch that. I'd watch that day one. That's what everyone wants from Star Wars right now. Isn't isn't Obi Wan movie with Ewan? Honestly, he could bring my interest in Star Wars back. Maybe just a little bit. Maybe just one time, just for that movie. And apparently, a Boba Fett movie's coming. I've heard about and that. And I don't care. Mm-hmm. Boba Fett was like in the movies. If you've seen just the Star Wars movies, nobody's going to give a fuck about the Boba Fett movie. Like, what was he? Oh, he appeared as a bounty hunter in episode 5, and then he died, like, in the first half of episode 6. Apparently he was a fan favorite. He was a fan favorite, and also uh, George Lucas had a plan for making, like, the entire Star Wars series, like, a nine-part saga before the prequels even happened. And his original plan was Bubba Fett to be the main villain for the first three movies. So what happened to that plan? Toys, I guess. I don't know. Toys. <laughs> it also ended with uh, like Luke Skywalker like having Vader's helmet and then putting it on and then taking the reins of Darth Vader. 
but huh. he he uh, went against it because he didn't want to have kids. Like, oh, I don't want to buy Luke Skywalker if he turns evil. So, so since we Star are Wars, sort of, since we I was s- just about to say, Star Wars has just become a convoluted mess, and maybe it's just best to let it go. Yeah, we still have the we still have the six we still have the six movies that Lucas made. So yeah. I got but anyways, we were talking about things that things that we watched or did later on that weren't as bad as or good as we thought they were. Oh, sure, why not? All right, well, well, this upcoming night I tried Black Ops 3 and you guys know me. I love I love to poke fun at that game. I oh, really didn't yeah. like it. And I I got it again recently and I'll be honest, it's not as bad as I remember it. Let's just say tri- uh, Triarch. If I ever were to do uh, like get back into Call of Duty, it'll be a Treyarch Black Ops game. They have mm-hmm. they have the best Call of Duty games, hands down. Treyarch did do a decent job. Mm-hmm. I I still stand my opinion on the zombies. I really didn't like Black Ops Three zombies. I thought it was trash. It it was kind of lame, honestly. Exactly. It was just one big, it was just a big fetch quest. It wasn't, old zombies was just mindless fun, you know. Go from area to area while fighting off hordes of zombies. It was fun. It's just they're trying to make a, like, an overarching story with them. Yeah. They also, seem to do it okay in, like, uh, Black Ops 2. Because th- they actually had more than one story. They had uh, the traditional story with the four characters we all love, and then they had the Mob of the Dead, which took place in Alcatraz. That one I was really cool. Liked Mob of- I really liked great. Mob of the Dead at first, but like as as I kept playing Mob of the Dead, I realized the map is kind of flawed. There's really there really was not a lot of places you could stretch your legs. There wasn't many places you could like actually roam around. There were obstacles all over the place, and I get that's because it's a prison. But still, I feel like some adjustments should have been made because it got it got a little too chaotic and you could die pretty easy in that map. But there's plenty of places where you can zombie train people. Remember when Black Ops th- when Black Ops 2 had four maps in the beginning and now there's Black Ops 3 with one? It's kind of wow. pathetic, honestly. That is really pathetic. Gotta get that DLC money, boys! Also, did you hear what they're doing with Black Ops 4? Yeah, I heard about it. Uh, yeah. yeah no campaign. Taking... And apparently the Modern Warfare 2 remaster won't have won't have multiplayer. Oh, come on. I'm man. sorry, that's, what? That's I don't know. It's fucking it's just a rumor at this point, so it's not confirmed, but there all is the other no all... way they would do that. All the other rumors regarding the other games were correct, so yeah, I'm taking this with a grain of salt, but I do have reasons to believe it could be very well be Drew. Okay, Activision has to know their player base at this point. If they don't include the multiplayer, they are going to lose. Did you hear what they did with the Modern Warfare 1 remaster? Yes, they added they added its cancer drops. Well, that too, but also uh, because of the fact that uh, they wanted to uh, sell Modern Warfare Infinite, whichever one it was. And you had to buy Infinite in order to get the remaster. Because they knew that no one's going to care about the new one. They just want the old one remastered. So they they put it, they made it for ransom. And you had to buy a copy of a game you didn't like or didn't want. You can now buy, Mar- you can now buy Modern Warfare Remastered separately now, though. Which is right. good. But still, that's still a crappy thing to do. Exactly. These fucking people put Mr. Krabs to shame with their greed. The Axis, the video game Axis of Evil, Activision, EA, and Ubisoft. Is Ubisoft as bad, though? I don't think they have as bad of a record, they're not, to be honest. They're not that bad. They're just, they're known for pumping out tons of meh games. Yeah, they, they tend to do that. They've been kind of steady nowadays. I mean, I'll, I'll give them this. They've been trying really hard to fix up and revive and revive the games that were meh. Like Rainbow Six Siege, they did a fucking great job at bringing that game back. It's now easily one of the most played games on Steam, I think, right now. Really? Yeah. They... That's cool. And also, the, Divi- the Division and Ghost Recon Wildlands, they were meh games at first, but 
Well, I didn't get the Division or Ghost Recon Wildlands, but I've heard they've done great jobs bringing those games back. The worst thing I can remember Ubisoft doing was uh, releasing Assassin's Creed Unity in, like, a really broken state. Like, the game had tons of bugs, so they had to, like, patch it over time, and they didn't handle it too well. I think most game devs have learned their lesson from that. Don't le don't don't release something that's broken. Wait, mm -hmm. at what company did like, they even have EA's, a lot of bugs? Even EA learned their lesson from that. Like, you guys remember Battlefield 4? Uh, vaguely. I love that game. I play it a ton, but at launch, it was a fucking mess. Hmm. Constant disconnects, constant lag, rendering issues, etc. Not everybody has learned a lesson, though. <clears throat> Players unknown battleground. Yeah. <laughs> are we gonna be talking about that now, or are we gonna say that? I only oh, like if you guys have story. Fortnite? I mean, I have one story about uh, Players Unknown Battleground. It's it's a pretty good story. If you guys follow me on Twitter, you might know this story actually. Yes, I oh, remember. I saw that. <laughs> yeah. For those who didn't see, I was playing some PUBG with my cousin. And we were in a game for maybe about a minute, and the the lagging was so bad, I lagged into a building, and we couldn't get out of the building. Oh my like, god. Like, we could not move. We could not physically move. The The building was, like, not, like, uh, wh wh how is it? How Textured? Is it? It's, I, I guess... Yeah, the textures disappeared. That was one thing, but it was, like, a solid object. It wasn't, like, one of the buildings you could go in. So, we're stuck there, and we couldn't do anything. Were you so stuck we decided... into, in the circle, though? Were you able to stay in the circle for a while? Uh, Well, we were in the circle for a while, but we decided we want to play this game, actually, because we want to like give it a legit chance. So, we quit the game. And I don't mean we just went to the home menu and that. No, we, like, shut off the game. We oh reload the game. We get into a lobby... And the exact same thing happens. <laughs> so I'm just like, fuck this game. I am not playing this garbage. It's, it's not a bug. It's a feature. <laughs> it oh. might as fucking well be. So there's a lot when, when the first thing to do is add an online casino instead of fixing their fucking game. Congratulations, you found an Easter egg. Oh, do you guys... <laughs> I mean, I'm only going to mention this briefly because it's sort of related to this topic. Do you guys remember the CSGO gambling controversy? Yes, that, that's do. hilarious. And apparently, and apparent, well, now they have that feature in PUBG. No way. Do they? Yes. You're you kidding. Can, yes, you can sell skins and items for real money, and you can gamble them at on online websites. Now, I, in their defense, they have done one thing to combat these websites. Not a lot, but it's one thing. It's more than Valve did before they were called out, so I'll give them that at the very least. What was this thing? Anyway, they put limits on trading, so you couldn't just trade away all your items in these gambling websites. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. It's still kind of scummy, though. I think exactly. that's even more scummy because they're like putting something in there instead of like dealing with the whole situation. They even, they promised that there wouldn't be microtransactions until the game was done, but they just couldn't fucking wait. They needed the money. Uh. Like, that game has brought in 700 million in ad revenue. Imagine how much adding loot boxes would make for them. Isn't Doesn't oh, that God. game cost, like, 30 to 60 bucks? Exactly. I mean, look at... I know the normies are probably going to hate me for saying this, but look at Fortnite. Fortnite's free, and it... I mean, it does have microtransactions, but it's not RNG fucking loot boxes. So, yeah. Exactly. I say let's just uh, let's just do it. Why not just talk about the Fortnite versus uh, PUBG right now? Before I we know... go into that, actually, I want to know one thing. Did T. Martin like ever lose the lawsuits, or is that still going on? Um, I heard that they just dismissed it. They just so he. <laughs> he scams he got up, hundreds yeah, of people he got with off, his CSGO website, and he, got he just off gets off. cut free. Yep, pretty oh, much. Oh, with that fucking rat. And uh, all, all is forgiven, because he had a piss poor, I'm sorry, guys, I promise I won't do it again. <sighs> Complete with his dog for, uh, like, sympathy. Sorry. But back to PUBG versus Fortnite. I had no idea that the fine bros own PUBG. 
<laughs> I love that joke. That's like the fifth time I've heard it from you, but I, I still giggle every single time I hear it. We friends, we are trademarking games that feature guns, so all games that have guns will have to will have to pay us, so we're going to copy strike them. That's like the same if Nintendo decided to copyright Sonic because, oh my gosh, they're taking platforming. Oh no. We, we own and platforming. The, the one other thing that they got salty over was they mentioned, just fucking mentioned PUBG in the promotional video for Fortnite. And it wasn't even in a negative light. And they're saying, oh my god, they mentioned us, you know, we're going to sue them and shit. It's like, it's like Nintendo suing Sega for the Genesis does what Nintendo don't commercial. It's stupid. Is they what it did is. that? They did? Yes, they wow, did Wow, that. that is petty. No, Nintendo didn't sue Sega. They're just talking, he's just talking about PUBG suing Fortnite. Or trying to. Oh, so yeah, they for, didn't do oh. that. Okay. Yeah, Nintendo I was, I was didn't about do to say that. that is Nintendo petty did as shit. not do that, but okay, okay. that's essentially that's essentially what it's just a comparison to what essentially the PUBG Corp is trying to do with Fortnite. That's true. Actually, you know what? I I was heard of a uh, <laughs> excuse me. I cannot talk today. It's it's eleven thirty in the morning, people. I know it might not seem that bad, but it's quite early for me since I work late into the nights. I heard about a lawsuit of... Have you guys seen the trailer for the Happy Time Murders? I showed Hack oh on his stream my last God. night, actually. Happy Time no. Murders. Mm -hmm. it's, I'll, I'm going to show you it after we're done recording here. But essentially, it's a, it's a rated R movie about humans and puppets. Uh, the tagline for the movie was, No Sesame, All Street. Apparently, the people who created Sesame Street tried to sue them over that tagline, and they lost. Thank God they lost. It I'm not I mean, sure if I should be happy it, about that. It's a terrible thing. Trust me, I'm not saying I'm not trying to justify it. But the reason I see it is because of the fact that if that tagline is there, it might get search results. And if the little kids looking up Sesame Street to go on to uh, SesameStreet.com because they had their parents' permission to go on it, and they find okay. that. That could be a problem. I see that as the as the big issue here. That's that's exactly what the Sesame Street people argued in court. But they couldn't produce any real evidence of it, so they lost the lawsuit. Well, it makes sense. I'm not like I said, I'm not trying to like justify it. That's just a stupid thing to do. So, other than GameCube dude, has in, has a hacker nomad, have you tried PUBG before? Not really. I tried it a bit on Steam and Good lord, it was it was terrible. The rendering was shit. The hit registration is unbearable. And the Let's lag go. man. Oh, Act, have you tried it out? Sweet, I mean they're trying lag. to connect they're trying to connect people from all around the world, like North America, Europe, and China. PUBG's especially big in China. It's made a millions over there. Nice. Yeah. Instead of, you know, trying to work out the bugs with our servers. Let's sue Fortnite for, oh, like, no. nothing at all. Have you heard it them trying to boring. sue the Chinese, uh, like, off developers as well? And you know what some of their uh, arguments are? What? what? They are using, like, like what was it called? Like, uh, tractor trailers. You know those uh, little uh, containers? The storage containers. They have yes, them the... littered all over the place. And they're saying that that is their... Uh, artistic liberty that they're oh, stealing oh come from. on go some... fuck yourself fortnite <laughs> i mean i mean pubg people <laughs> also pubg the, is the, uh pubg yeah they, just, they uh, use the unreal and pubg actually uses the unreal engine which is made by epic the devs of fortnite oh really yeah so they're suing them they're, they're suing their competition because oh my god this is pathetic Aesthetic. If it was, if it was at the very least one of those PUBG mobile ripoffs, which I have seen, which I have seen before, that could at the very least be justified, but not this. They're this also saying, uh, blue, uh, is it Blue Hole that makes PUBG? Yeah. Uh, blue Hole blue also says. We'll says... just call it Asshole Studios from now on. <laughs> <laughs> that works. Anyway, they're saying that uh, the jumping out of the airplane and parachuting down to the ground is also theirs. And having a frying pan as a weapon is theirs as well. Fuck you, no. <laughs> Fucking Team Fortress 2 did that before them. Valve, These they're taking are you to petty court. These is shit. Yeah, Dude, it's, it's There's insane. no case for them. They are gonna lose. 
And then, honestly, I sh maybe Fortnite should counter-sue them for damages. <laughs> did you guys hear about Silicon Knights? I did not. They were, not really. anyway, they were a Canadian developer. They tried to sue Epic Games, and they got their ass handed to them big time by Epic. What were they suing them for? Apparently, some issues with the engine. So they stole... So they tried to sue... I don't know what it was specifically, but they tried to sue them over some stuff related to the engine. Then they made their own engine, which stole assets from the Unreal Engine, and then Epic Games countersued them for that, and Epic won. Oh my gosh. LOL. <laughs> so they had to shut down their studios, destroy all unsold games, pay damages, etc. Karma at its finest. I imagine PUBG could be going down a very similar route. It's quite sad. It's actually kind of ironic because they're the ones that created the Battle Royale genre and they're slowly just losing control and becoming like a laughing stock of the industry. Minecraft Hunger Games came out way before that. Well, that's a little different. Exactly. That's a little different. It's not really. It's it's Battle Royale. But they're they're taking Hunger Games though. So which is it's a which different Battle movie. Royale. A Battle Royale that was a different, a totally different movie. And your point is? I'm just saying it's not the exact same thing. I mean, yeah, sure, it has like the same kind of gameplay elements, but it's not the same. You see, if they f if they fixed their game, if they ported it to consoles and it worked, and if they didn't do the bullshit microtransactions, then maybe they'd still be on top, and Fortnite wouldn't have overtaken them. Instead, Fortnite of is yeah, it's Fortnite did right what they did wrong, and now Fortnite is fucking massive. Have you guys seen any of the like the Friday Fortnite streams hosted by like people on Keemstar's team? Like, I think yes. Ninja's a part of them. Definitely. Those streams are fucking massive. They get, like, in total, I think the Friday Fortnite stuff gets, like, 10 million views. Wow. Holy shit. Wow. It's insane. That's how, like, massive Fortnite is. And Keemstar is, like, just one part of the community for Fortnite. Can, can you, like, even grasp how massive this game actually might be? The community mm -hmm. of Fortnite's huge. It's it's incredible. And then you have the hipsters that hate it just because it's popular. Like uh -huh. my brother. <laughs> People Tell your just... brother he's not smart. <laughs> he knows. People he... who hate it just because it's popular, I can I can't respect their opinion at all. It's because it's I originally... based on nothing. So my apologies. Were you saying something? Uh, no. They're they're pinning on why. On why they hate Fortnite, it's based purely on nothing. Like, if you've played it and you don't like it, you don't like the building mechanic, you think it's a bit too fast-paced for you, that's perfectly fine, you know? I can respect your opinion, but someone that just hates it because, oh, it's everywhere, and oh, it's popular, everyone at school talks about it, I can't respect their opinion at all. Mm, me, personally, I only hate... I only hate of how kids in my school handled Fortnite, because that's the only part that that feels annoying. I don't hate the game, but I just don't like how people really handled it. I right, that's fair. Yeah, that is fair. I originally didn't like Fortnite because I really just... I didn't get it at first. I couldn't under... Well, not, not that I couldn't understand it. It's just, like, I didn't get into it. I found it boring. And eventually, like, I think one of you, somebody in my friend group, convinced me to play it with them. I'm just like... Holy shit, this game is completely different when you have somebody else to play it with. Not yeah, me, because no, I, I played it the first time on your stream. Oh, yeah. And that was and a blast. Won. That was a fucking fire stream, remember? And he won. Yeah, and he won. <laughs> oh. That, so, that verifies me as the best Fortnite player of all time. Um, no, I've won four games. Beat that. We, we don't talk about that one. Have you recorded yourself doing it? Yes, I have them recorded here. I'll, you know, remind me. I'll upload those after this, unlisted. But still, I'll upload them nonetheless. Well, all right then. Very well. So yeah, that's the thing with me and Fortnite. It's I don't like the game when I have to play it alone. But when I play with other people, I think it's a blast. You can't do this alone. Yeah, you can never do this alone. <laughs> exactly. Why do you think I always have people with me on my Fortnite streams? Like me. Yeah, exactly. That game's boring as shit alone. I, when you I actually have, like, when you have people to work with and you're just yelling at each other, it's a great time. Well, that's that's mm, the yeah. case with every single co-op type game, though. Yeah, and 
kind of it kind of goes the same with Minecraft, to be honest. That's well, I think uh, Minecraft when you're playing with friends, it's fun. It's it's fun in its own ways. When you're playing it alone, it's just a nice, relaxing, peaceful game. I like to build things in Minecraft. I I don't think I've touched survival mode in months or maybe even years. I just use creative. When I first got Minecraft, like one thing I used to do is I would like to construct these massive railways with the carts. I would go for like what seemed like hundreds of miles in the freaking carts, and it was a blast. First time I played Minecraft was uh, we I played on a creative, and it was so boring. I hated it. <laughs> uh, because that's uh, the thing I. You okay. know what? If I can if I can interject real fast, I didn't even know Minecraft had a survival mode until like uh, I was watching the very first Minecraft playthrough, not even really a playthrough, just series I watched was by Minnesota Burns, that OG. Oh my god! And yeah, he was he was playing with another guy who I I can't remember his name, but they were playing in survival mode. I I liked Minnesota Burns at the time, so I'm like, eh, I'll watch this, and that was like when I figured out. Uh, Minecraft actually has a survival mode. I'm like, oh, oh, okay. I thought it was like you just run around and play with blocks. And <laughs> nope, nope, I was wrong. Minecraft became still different recently. How so? Uh, aquatic update. Random creatures. Are a lot harder to deal with underwater. Uh, I, I don't know. I feel like Minecraft became harder and more complicated. I don't even know what happens in the last update. I know it's creative. But it's pretty you know op it's it's complex it's some there's something comforting in in the fact that you uh, knowing that minecraft is still going strong yeah but but funny thing is that minecraft does actually have an official discord really they do they do there's oh, a they discord have server for everything i mean i never Not thought minecraft me. would actually have a discord oh and um uh, <laughs> but um yeah, yeah link but, in the description but um i joined the minecraft discord server and it's massive it's huge it's even vertified as well um there's a lot of minecraft staffs so there's even dinner bone does notch ever show up in there he doesn't he doesn't have anything to do with the game anymore so i wouldn't imagine so i could i could totally see him though like just walking up in there and just like hey everybody how's it going yeah <laughs> i could see that and then fangirls just start screaming and crying. It's Notch. It's our Lord and Savior, Notch. <laughs> Notch. So, do we have any more topics before we uh, wrap this up? Anybody got any funny stories to tell? Eh, no, I'm good. Not I sure. Mean, it's not necessarily funny. It's a kind of cute story about Fortnite. So, at work, I work at a grocery store. This uh, this uh, dude with his uh, uh, sons came in, and they're asking for some boxes. And oh. so we, we go in the back, and we uh, uh, pick up some boxes, and we give it to him. And he's like, oh, thank you so much. And then he co turns to his son, and he's like, okay, now we could uh, actually build a fort while you play Fortnite. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? You know, like make that, a little box fort. Me. No, it was, it was like the greatest thing ever, because I remember that doing funny. doing stuff kind of like that before. That is so funny. Oh my God. I remember always making forts out of the cushions on the couches. When oh, I, I love that. Yeah, so that was much so much fun. You know what would be an awesome Fortnite update? What? If they changed the map so that we're uh, like either the players are shrink, uh, shrunken and they play in like a living room with like like the wood, brick, and steel is changed by like cushions, boxes, and other things like that. So mm -hmm. you're you're like building a pillow fort instead of like a wood fort. Be a, that'd be a would nice sound, aesthetic that thing. Sounds like fun. Could be. I love. You know what, Zeke, before we go, how about you tell us what was the best thing that happened to you while you were in Japan? Hmm. I don't remember oh. you talking that much about your vacation. I haven't talked about my vacation too much. Yeah, where were you? I landed in Osaka, which is uh, kind of like the western part of the country. Yep. We stayed a couple, uh, we stayed a night there, and then we uh, drove around. We, we went through a lot of shopping districts. That was, that was the main thing, like shopping everywhere. I have a ton of pictures to show as well, but I don't know where to really show them. Uh, well, Twitter? Yeah, maybe. That's true. Yeah, not Normie Graham. <laughs> I, I, I haven't posted there forever. 
anyway, like I was saying, Osaka, and then we went to uh, Kanto. Uh, we went to Mount Fuji. Oh, nice. nice. Went to did the to, fifth step to, of Mount, Mount Fuji. Did you go to the famous forest? No, we, we didn't go through there. Aw. I don't think, I'm pretty sure they banned Americans from there because of Logan Paul. <laughs> That's oh. a joke, but I w- honestly wouldn't be surprised if they actually did. <laughs> well, it's a good thing I'm not American, so I can still go there. You're pretty much an American. Um, I'm an American. No, um, How is Canadian? he pretty much an American? <laughs> well, Canada, you know. It's just that... it's America's hat. That's what it's called. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, <laughs> USA is Canada's pants. Oh. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, you know, we need to unite South Mexico's our schlong. <laughs> okay, someone went there. <laughs> 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 all right that was a good one i'll give you that but anyway like i was saying then we finished up the the stay at uh tokyo shit wait i also could have said florida is our schlong that could have worked too <laughs> it it fits perfectly too i mean florida does have a habit of getting wet so oh oh <laughs> oh that was a good one <laughs> But yeah, uh, one thing that uh, really popped out, like stood out to me, it was how clean and how quiet that country is. Japan? Japan, yes. Yeah, sounds nice. Oh, it's so nice. Compare that to here. This is an upper class neighborhood, and yet you can still find tr- trash in lots of places just mm-hmm. scattered about. There were no trash cans anywhere, and yet there was no trash on the ground. It's insane. Wow. They just, they probably have a lot of respect for their country, or mm-hmm. maybe it's a culture thing. It's a culture it, thing. They yeah, respect the like... societal rules to the extreme there. They did. And they're also, I mean, they're really, they're really nice. They're really nice. Hmm, I know it's going to sound a bit more Even after what happened in January, uh, I figured they wouldn't be too <laughs> fond of Americans then. I think they kind of just for, forgot about it, or not everyone saw what happened. Who the fuck happened? forgets about something like that? Logan Paul, for everybody who doesn't know. I mean, it happened in the end of December. I mean, we got interviewed by, uh, like, school children because we were Americans. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. What did they ask you? They were just asking questions like, where are you from? And then, uh, like, uh, what type of foods do we have in America? And, like, describe America. And that's... Oh. You never know how how hard it is to describe your own country until you're asked by a foreign... Like, another person from another oh. country. You are not unless wrong you're, there, to Unless be you're Canadian, because Canadi- Canadian culture, essentially, at this point, is based on how not American we can be. There you go. <laughs> but it, it's so hard because we don't have, like, a food. Like, it's a combination of everything. Plus, like, I guess, think for a second. We have cheeseburgers. Does yeah, that think, count? Think oh, for also a second. Deep, if deep if fried someone... butter. Oh, yeah. oh, don't bring that up. <laughs> That's, oh. oh, I don't That's feel Texas. good. That's Texas. We don't talk about them. <laughs> oh. But no, it's I mean, just... it's most stereotypically American food ever. Mm-hmm. I mean, like the no, that's of... just fucking gross, man. I said stereotypically, not. I mean, the flaws around America, it, they're kind of really. I mean, unco- it's the USA is a big country, so saying there's not really flaws that apply to the whole country as a whole, just to specific regions. Yeah, I mean, no what... country is ever going to be perfect. Yeah. Exactly. And just they wanted to learn about because I'm pretty sure they just got done learning about like America or other like Western cultures. So they wanted to like interview us and figure out more about it. Huh. It was really cool. We took a picture with them and everything like that. It was it was really nice. Did you get That's a picture? Nice. Or did you have the picture? We, How we old had were the they? Picture. Like were they awesome. like awesome? I'd say middle probably, school, high school? Probably middle school. Okay. That's cool. That's and a really I, cool experience. I definitely recommend uh, traveling to another country. I really I want to go uh, travel. I'll do my best. I don't know. I can't afford I a go vacation. You can go. Actually, you can get cheap cheap tickets to Europe now. There's this one. There's this one airline which Europe's offers kind cheap... of a train wreck at the moment. So I'm gonna stay out of there. Not for a all while. of Europe, just specific, just specific parts of it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Don't go to Sweden, kids. <laughs> yeah, you can go to Iceland for cheap. It's really nice in Iceland, and you should go now because they're going to introduce heavy tourist taxes because they're being overrun with tourists. 
Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Yeah, they get there's a their country of about uh, three hundred and a half thousand, and they get like four million tourists a year. Oh wow. Sheesh. So go now before they before. Why either impose a-, a tax? Tourism must be like their main source of economy. At the same time, though, it's putting a strain on their in- infrastructure. I'm pretty sure. Exactly. All right. Yeah, They're, I guess that's yeah, fair. Yeah, and the wilderness that people go to see in Iceland. So yeah, go to Iceland now before they introduce that tax. You can actually go there for pretty cheap about, yeah, one, 130 bucks Canadian, so possibly less than American. Wow. I'm amazing. like, I'm flying out to California in about two weeks, and that plane ticket cost over $300. I was it's able to, crazy. I was it able might to... be cheaper for me to travel to another country than it is to go to a different state. Like, what the frick? Do you it live near to... a big uh, airport? Uh, actually, the Richmond airport is, uh, actually, that is pretty far, actually, from where I am. Because, so, uh, no, it, I don't, I don't live near a big airport. I gotta goes do a bit to, of a drive. It goes to show how, how big the USA and Canada are. It cost me more to fly to, it cost me for, more, it cost me less to fly to the other side of the country than it does to fly to Europe. Mm-hmm. We have interesting life experiences to talk about, but we're gonna have to save those for another time because I think I think that's a good place to end. Yeah, yeah. I think, yeah. yeah, I think we just save the travel one for later. Let's do that. Well, all right then. So next episode, I'm hoping to have a lot of stories for California. Oh God! All right. Nice. Yeah, Ooh, that... we're, this is gonna be uh, the June episode, and we're gonna be recording the probably middle of July. Most likely. Maybe. Well, all right then. Well, let's put a wrap on this. Thank you all so very much for watching this uh, podcast or listening to it, whatever you want, want to, whatever you want to call it. My name it is, is Z Yoshi Man. Uh, my Twitter is Z Yoshi Man, Instagram Z Yoshi Man, everything like that. GameCube, where can the fine people find you? Uh, on Twitter at GameCube Dude One Hundred. On YouTube, GameCube Dude One Hundred. I need to get some more steam on that channel. Uh, Mister Nomad, where can people find you? At NomadicBox87 on Twitter, the only social media worth using, by the way. And also on my channel, I'm underscore nomadic. Shout out to Hack for the new profile picture, by the way. Yep, you're welcome. I and love then, how you gave him a new profile picture, and then he's just using a filthy Frank profile picture. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to point that out there. Discord. <laughs> on everything else, I'm using your new profile picture. <laughs> all right, all right. Everybody, you're more than welcome to go see his new profile picture, Twitter, whatever. And Hack, where can the fine people find you? Well, um, you guys can find me around Twitter and other social medias at with at HackGameX294, or it could be just at HackGame because people kept taking those names, and one person actually tried impersonating me, so I had to use vice versa, whatever, and. Another thing is that I'm actually making some, a bit of a surprise in my YouTube channel, so stay tuned for that. Hmm. Interesting. I, like I surprises. love surprises. Hmm? It will come soon. Well, alright all right. then. And now we're off, so see you later, guys. Bye. Bye.